I'm Chris Titus, 20-year technology veteran in the IT industry. I've been doing it professionally for 20 years and started this YouTube channel about a year and a half ago. And really, my whole purpose here is to teach you about a variety of things in the IT space. So I got this tweet recently, and basically, I've already taught this subject about three different ways, and it come came to me that, uh, hey, uh, YouTube doesn't always do the best job of recommending you learning content. And when it comes down to it, you probably want to learn a lot with uh, any extra time you get, especially right now. So I wanted to go ahead, take you over to the desktop, show you all the things you can learn from me as my whole purpose and goal on YouTube is to teach everything I know. And I still have quite a bit of ways to go, but I at least wanted to give you all the different topics that I go over. And that way, you know exactly where to go, what to learn. And then if I am missing something, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about it. So before we get into the video, I do live stream over on Twitch, both Monday and Friday. Uh, so if you'd like to ask a question, head over there, ask me live, or you can check out all the archives of all my past streams over on Chris Titus Tech Streams. The links are in the description. So with that, let's get into our video. In the desktop here, you'll notice that I am on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Chris Titus Tech. And I'll leave obviously this link in the description, but I wanna come here just for the homepage. I've organized every video I've made in the past year and a half, which is roughly 500 something videos into a whole different categories and playlists so you can easily learn whatever topic it is that you wanna learn. So if you're a Windows user wanting to switch to Linux, I went ahead and made Windows playlists and just kinda of go over that transition, what you need to know, all the, the basics of Linux, what you need to know as a Windows user. I also have Windows tips and tricks here, and I'll show you just kind of what you'll see on that playlist. And it gives you pretty much every single video I've ever done on Windows, every single tips. I do leave out most of my opinion articles from these, but I, I wanna leave more of the educational content on my playlist. So when you're going through these, it's less of the YouTube opinion pieces that get lots of clicks and more of the actual education piece that you need to learn a new skill. So with that, you know, from this playlist, you could install a new Windows 10, you could uh, remove viruses, you could clean up your Windows 10, you could create a custom ISO. I have pretty much every single thing in here, whether it's a, uh, uh, creating and putting what antivirus to put on your system, or even if you should use an antivirus. I think I have a video on here that uh, I say, don't use free antivirus, just use either the built-in or a paid antivirus. And I go over which ones I particularly like. But I just wanna showcase this as far as the Windows portion. Now, when it comes to Linux, uh, that specific tweet referenced Linux gaming. And I wanted to kind of show that. I made a Windows games on Linux, which a lot of Windows users coming to Linux say, hey, does my game play? And I made entire videos of everything you need to know, all the basics, and then it dives more into the advanced topics. So if you would go from the Windows games on Linux playlist, which is right over here, you'll see that here it is. You have Windows games on Linux, all you need to know. This is where I'd start. And then you can go, uh, hey, why would you even bother with Linux versus Windows gaming? And kind of goes over some of the performance, some of the cool things that has Linux has where uh, Windows doesn't. And then kind of goes into basics of Lutris, game mode, four games I play, and you can just kind of get a really good sense of that topic. So uh, I just talked about Windows and Linux, but it just doesn't stop there. So coming back into here, uh, you can see more things. So if you're brand new and you don't know anything about Linux, I created the Linux Basics series, which just kind of teaches you the parts of Linux and how it differs from Windows. And that's pretty good. So if uh, I would start honestly at the start here and then work your way down, or if you just want to know what to expect in your first 30 days and a title jumps out, go ahead and pick it. Because when it comes to YouTube, I, I don't know exactly what you already know. And YouTube certainly doesn't. They'll recommend pretty much everything under the sun. But at the same time, uh, these playlists make it to where you can absorb any knowledge and fill up any gaps that you may have from 
any technology piece. So that's Linux, but I also touch on other subjects as well. As I said, I've been in the IT field for 20 years and I've talked about storage, I've talked about websites, I've talked about virtualization, and then also networking. So if you don't know anything about networking, um, I would probably come into just, you know, my PFSense tutorial. I think I have uh, networking on that one. Let's see what we have in here. You'll see all these. So you have just, this is all PFSense and how to use block lists and traffic shaping. So a little more advanced, but if we actually go back into the main portion of the site and just say, hey, I wanna know about networking. I think I did a three hour long a networking introduction in a networking basics video. And then I also condense it down into about a 10, 20 minute YouTube video as well. So if we just type networking into the search bar up at the top here, you'll notice I have basics of networking. This is the entire live stream, which is two and a half hours. But if you just want the high, high highlights of that, you can just go into the networking basics tutorial right here, where I go over IP addresses, subnets, gateways, that type of thing. And then it also breaks into some other networking uh, stuff, such as network sharing and those types of things as far as Samba shares, and just a whole host of different things on here. But I wanted to just kind of organize this and I've taken the time this morning. And that's why I'm making this video to kind of go back through and clean up my playlist, make sure it's organized. So if you do have a lot of time on your hands, you could go through and learn a completely new skill or build a new box. Uh, if you're really wanting to dive deep into like having a home entertainment center and you want to host a whole bunch of stuff, like whether it be a Plex server, I would highly recommend the free NAS tutorial series where if you have an extra computer laying around that you wanna make, uh, this kind of shows you the install process, the setup, uh, how to do Plex on it, just everything under the sun. And it goes from the very basics of the just basic install and setup to the most advanced where you're doing an iSCSI setup and you're setting up an iSCSI target for a whole virtualization environment in a business. So uh, I try to hit every single aspect of it. Just know there is some advanced in here, but there's also some basics here. So depending on your skill level, you can fill in all those gaps. And for most people, they probably just wanna do the install setup and then just go, hey, how do I use Plex on FreeNAS? <laughs> You know, just the basics or maybe even just the migration process of going from free NAS to Windows, that's in here. But I just wanted to take the time and say, hey, uh, when it comes to these videos, before you ask for a video, just go to this uh, channel page and go into the search box and just type in whatever it is you want to know. If you want to know about bootloaders, you can just type grub. Or let's say you want to know something about like the Windows bootloader, you can actually just type bootloader and it'll go ahead and pull up all the different things like repairing the Windows boot partition includes creating the files again, repairing the VCT, all these different things that go into the advanced sections, type it into the search box. You'd be surprised of what I've already created. I've created 500 something videos, as I just said, and all of them are unique and different. I don't like rehashing the same content over and over just for views. I just want to teach you what I know. And uh, that's what I, my whole goal is. So I still have a lot to teach and I want to continue going. So I'm going to make the occasional video like this about referencing these old playlists and just so you can get in here and learn everything you need to know. And I don't have to uh, spend time going over the same video over and over as, well, that'd be fine. The YouTube algorithm will take care of me. Uh, I just want to be able to put my entire knowledge base on the web. So when I'm dead and gone, it'll still live on and people still be able to learn from me. And I think I, that's where I get the most value out of it. And I, I really want to provide you the most value when I make these videos. So that's what this whole video is about today. And I hope you take this knowledge go through um, and just browse this page because if there is something you want to learn and you have the time, this is how you'd go about doing it. So with that, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.